Shipwreck Bay is one of the islands with the most diversity in its layout. Here's 7 tips to take full advantage of it. Tip number 1. Shipwreck Bay is a central island. I find the south side the best to park on. This way you can see any ships that may be coming for you from a mile away, and it leaves you ready to sail off if needed. Tip number 2. Oftentimes loot will show up on top of the wreckage of the Blackwick. However, the stairs to get up are broken. You can either hop along the railing or sword dash from the top of the wreckage across from it to get on top. Tip number 3. Shipwreck Bay has an underrated great view of lots of the sea. Climb all the way up the shipwreck, then climb the pointed rock to see all around. Tip number 4. If delivering cargo, be careful of the cannons which have a wide range covering right near Grog Soaked Ed's shack. Take out the skellies first before you try to park here. Tip number 5. Directional riddles on Shipwreck Bay can be a bit confusing. Use this map to help you figure out where all of the clues are. Tip number 6. Shipwreck Bay is more than just the main island. Don't forget to check out the little island surrounding it. If you're doing animal voyages, a lot of the animals are usually here, and there's also usually pieces of loot washed ashore as well. Tip number 7. This is more of a Shipwreck Bay adjacent tip, but the Shrine of the Flooded Embrace is directly to the southeast of Shipwreck Bay and is always worth a quick swim down since this shrine doesn't have puzzles and is just loot sitting amongst the shipwrecked shrine. In less than 3 minutes, I got this loot. With these tips, hopefully your next visit to Shipwreck Bay will be a ship win.